welcome back to my channel. My name is Jelene Yakeo and this channel is basically as a result of my love for DIY projects and creative art. And for today's projects, we're going to be making some scrabble wall art and I hope you will stay tuned until the end of the video. So my inspiration for this particular piece of art is Scrabble Art, which is a board game that we get to play a lot in our family. I really love this piece of art because it is a visual representation of one of the ways in which we get to connect together as a family. So now that we understand why we're making this DIY, now let's get to how to make the DIY. So what you will need for this is craft paper. Preferably you will want two colors, two different colors, a knife cutter, and then there is glue, masking tape, stapler and double-sided tape start by taking your craft paper and then you cut out a square of 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters then mark out 15 centimeters 2 centimeters and 3 centimeters as I had said earlier you have 2 centimeters on the second column and then 15 centimeters in the middle and then 3 centimeters on the farthest end and you're gonna repeat this on all the four sides of your craft paper which is supposed to be 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters but again this is totally subjective you can make it larger you can make it smaller it really does depend with your taste depends with your style it also depends on the, the the size of your font of your letters so all of it all of this really differs but for me this is what i pretty much used So once you have that cut out, you take your knife cutter and then you cut as I have indicated with, with my pen. So you just cut on that side because the image you're trying to go for is the image that has just, just popped up. The shaded areas are the areas we're going to retain in our craft paper. And then the unshaded areas are the areas we're going to cut out from the square. So you pretty much <laughs> just cut it out, just cut that part out. And then you take a sharp pointed pen and then you score, or rather you press firmly onto your craft paper or rather on the lines. This is going to help it um, fold easily so that you can form that nice crisp line or that perfect fold and then once you have that folded it should essentially be something like this and then um, you see how nice those lines are and it's very easy to fold as well then take your masking tape and then I took small strips of masking tape and then I took on and then I, I put it on all the four corners of my letter rather my canvas let's call it a canvas a paper canvas and then you attach the four corners with with a stapler if you have glue you can totally use glue for this but for me it was like a stapler is better it's neater it's faster so i'll just use stapler for this so once you have that done you essentially have your canvas and then you take your letter so for my letter what i did is i printed out letters and then I traced it onto my craft paper using a sharp pointed pen as you can see once I had that traced out onto my craft paper I then took a knife cutter and then I cut the letters out if you have like nice straight edges use a ruler for that nice and neat edge and then once you have that done you take glue on the back side of the letter apply glue on the back side of the letter and then you just attach it to the canvas and you are pretty much done with the letter So once your letter is nice and dry, you essentially just um, attach it to the wall. But wait a minute, you must be wondering how I attached it to the wall. So let's get back to that. So all I did is I took double-sided tape and then I cut small strips and then I put them on all the four corners of my canvas. I peeled the double-sided tape off, or rather I peeled the cover off and we are back. So focus and action. So what I did is that the letters have a connection to the next name. The le one letter has a connection to the next name. One letter has a connection to the next name. Like that, like that, until it forms the whole piece of art. So as you can see, Kami M for mom, it connects with mom. And then a mom connects with Mumbi, And then Mumbi connects with... Like that, like that. So if you want further explanations on how scrub will add is you can literally google it um yeah i really love this piece of art as i had said earlier it's a visual representation of how one of the ways in which we get to connect together as a family through playing the game and so yeah i really love it 
um, it's on the entryway by the way if you're wondering it's on the entryway of our home <laughs> so the first thing you see when you enter okay not really the first thing but it's like on the entryway um, yeah let's just say it's on the entryway so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a big thumbs up share it to your other friends and family so that they can get to enjoy the video as well and I will see you guys in my next video